Hi, salsero, bachatero, kistombero, best people. How are you? Today, I bring you five tips, five, for preparing your social dance. How to be more confident and more comfortable while we are dancing with our partner. So stay. And if you are a beginner and you are starting to know what a social dance is, and if you have more experience, these tips, they are gonna help you a lot because they help me a lot as well. So stay until the end because the, the last, the last tip <laughs> is the most difficult and, but the most important as well. Because you, my friend, you, querido, amigo, you are here not just for moving with music, no. You are here for dancing and express the best version of yourself. If you are new in my channel, I am Rodrigo and consider to subscribe because I'm gonna give you a lot of information about how to reach a better experience during dancing. Let's start! First of all, I have to say that these tips come from my own experience. After 11 years, wow, 11, wow, 11 years, in different countries, so I have developed and I have seen that these tips has helped me a lot. I'm giving to you for free. What we have to do actually now is to establish a mindset. And um, for that, we have to think in advance which kind of situation we are going to have in order to avoid problems or in order as well to, to make it easier. So let's start with the first tip. First tip, mental warm-up. What I mean here is a concept that we really use, the dance teachers. That means we have to imagine, we have to visualize ourselves in the party. We have to get the correct mindset before going to the party. What is going to help us, and I really recommend it, is to get information before how the party is going to be. Sometimes we can have this information, which kind of music they are going to play, which kind of place is going to be, big place, small place, which kind of level of the dancer you are gonna meet. When you know all this kind of information, you can imagine better yourself in the place enjoying the music. What I do is I play music in my house. I play the music that I like, play your music, and with all this information that I have, I start to imagine me in the party and I start to imagine the movements or the figures that I would like to do. Once you imagine before the party, it's gonna be easier to do it during the party, during you are dancing. So that's why it's mental warm up. You imagine yourself doing what you want to do or just playing music and entering on the flow. You can do it, this mental warm up playing music while you are doing the second and third tip. So let's go with the second. Second tip, get a good personal higiene. So, very important, shower, have a shower, always, before the party. No, I, I had a shower in the morning, have again, uh, another shower, have again. Brush your teeth, choose a good perfume, apply the deodorant, trim your nails, uh, because we have surprises and how to explain when you have a scratch here, sometimes it's difficult to, to explain and difficult that the people understand it. <laughs> And if you need it, take bread mints as well. Uh, the, you can do it as well. Why I'm saying that? Because it's gonna bring you more peace of mind that you know you are smelling good and you are doing a good expression. So do it, okay? Third tip, choose the appropriate attire, okay? The choice of your clothes is gonna really affect a lot your comfort and your confidence. Choose the clothes which you feel more fit and more good looking because it's very important to feel good looking when you are dancing. These clothes, they have to affect you in a positive way while you are dancing. If you realize that you have a gene that maybe you don't like uh, dancing with this gene, then don't take it next time. It depends on your style, your own style. For example, my style, I really like that the, my jeans, for example, they are more straight because I like to see my leg moving and not a leg with trousers. Of course, there are other styles which uh, they wear oversized uh, clothes and they like it and it depends really how your style is but get your style fourth tip is this one i really like it this one is is the uh, what i like most okay is enjoy the moment from the moment you cross the door be present in the moment you cross the door of a party of a social land whatever Forget your problems, forget your thinkings. 
Be yourself, be present, be aware what is happening, how is the atmosphere, how is the temperature, how is the people, how is the music. The more you can process these inputs, the better is going to be your outputs dancing. That's why it's very important to be aware where, where you are actually and go and say hello, make new friends, forget your how you have to behave and be you, just like this. Be the best version of you, not thinking, not bad thinking, not just be present in the moment. About inputs and outputs, okay? How to be more aware about the inputs to recollect all the information that where you are in order to improve your outputs, your dance, then you have more information about that in the description. Make my free training because there I'm gonna explain you which kind of thing you have to be aware in a social dance in order to improve all your output, so all your dance with your dance partner. Last tip, but if you like it, if you like the video, if you like it, make a like, give a like, it's for free and it's gonna help the video to reach more people. If you think, okay, the information is interesting, you can send to somebody or subscribe to the channel. The last tip, I think is the most important for me if you think they are and other more importance, you can always write it on the comments. But this one, I think is the most important one for improving, for being more relaxed and more confident in your social dance. Is do not, do not compare yourself with others. Each dancer have their own level, their own experience. And you have to follow your own growth path. Do not be intimidated from other dancers that they have more experience. It's not that they are better, it's that they have more experience because they started before. View them as a resource of inspiration. Two questions, seek feedbacks. You have to think that dancing is a learning process and you have to start from the beginning. We all were beginners and you have to start from the beginning and do it learning. Okay, so do not compare with the other, compare just with yourself. Are you better today than last month? That's the most important thing you have to think. And if you do it like this, your way, your path of learning is going to be more fulfillment and more enjoyable. Believe me. And this is all, all the tips that I have. But if you have more tips or you think, hey, I think this is going to be a good tip as well for preparing your social dance, then write it in the comment, okay? Write it and I would like to read it because Oh, yeah. I'm always open with that. And if you like it, if you like the content, if you like the video, make a like, give us a like, share the channel, subscribe. We'll see us another week. Ciao!